Hey guys, it's Christy. I just wanted to film a really quick haul video today. Um, these are actually purchases that I've made here and there over the last two months. Um, I've been in a little bit of a crafting funk lately, so I haven't um, opened any of this stuff yet. Um, but we just got a new dog. Um, last, well, this Monday will be two weeks ago that we got her. We adopted her from the Anna Shelter, which is a local shelter in our town. And um, she's between five and seven years old. She's a flat-coated retriever. Basically, she looks like a golden retriever, but black. Um, and her name is Zadie. And we just love her to pieces. But um, she doesn't, like, chew on anything or make messes. I mean, we really lucked out. She's such a sweet dog. But, um, you know, it just made me want to really be careful about um, keeping things out of her reach and picking up. So as I'm putting these things away, I thought, hey, why not shoot a haul video and show you guys um, what I've bought. So um, here goes. Um, the first thing that I bought, and this was really like two months ago, um, were these adorable buttons by um, Shari Moss. She is a fabulous paper crafter. I absolutely love her. Um, if you have never seen her blog, go and check that out. Um, she makes these really adorable handmade buttons. Um, she has several different designs, and I've showed a different design in a different haul video. Um, my one and only haul video up till now. Um, and this is her newer design. These are like flower shaped and they are just adorable. This collection is called Just Peachy um, and you can see they were hand sewn on there. And this one is called um, Plum Perfect and they're just absolutely gorgeous. And looking at these again, I already feel inspired so maybe I'll be using these very soon. Um, get me out of my crafting funk. Um, the next thing I bought was um, my friend Vanessa Middleton um, is opening up a brand new store. Um, right now she's just doing it through YouTube. Basically she shows videos of what she's got coming in and then you can um, contact her um, through PMs and um, tell her what you'd like and she gives you a price and you pay via PayPal and it works great. Um, but she will be opening a store soon. Um, but in the meantime, this is how she's doing it. But anyway, um, her name is 77 Butterfly Love L U V on YouTube if you want to check her out. Um, anyway, so I ordered a couple things from her. Um, first of all, I bought these Mr. Hueys from Studico Calico. Studio Calico, sorry. Um, I have only owned one other spray mist before um, but I thought it was really cool and I wanted to try some more out so I picked up um, sorbet uh, sherbet buttercup and mint julep which they're just really really pretty colors so I thought this one would even be pretty for Christmas it's kind of like a pale sage almost so we'll see um, and I picked up these butterfly wood veneers um, from Studio Calico as well. They're die cut wood pieces. There's 20 of them in there. Um, I saw a video with Christy Tomlinson um, who does altered art on canvas and things like that. She did a canvas with these and I thought it was really cool. So I've had my eye on these ever since I saw that video and um, I plan to do something similar on canvas. Not similar but something on canvas with them. Um, and then I got this Paper Schmooches stamp set that I have been wanting for a long, long time. Ever since it came out, I just absolutely love this. I love the cityscape. I love the car. I love the fireworks. Little stop sign. The hot air balloon is so cute. The little balloon. Um, just absolutely cute set. This is called Metropolis. Um, so I can't wait to use that. And then I also picked up from Studio Calico these Mistables. They are fabric sticker shapes. There are 68 pieces. It's double sided. These are the butterflies. And um, I just thought they would be really fun to use with the Mr. Hueys on a card. So I have to do that soon. Okay, my next purchase was um, from W Plus 9 design studio. Um, I had been looking at this stamp set um, ever since it came out like I think it was like two months ago um, maybe a little bit longer. Anyway 
I they had some really cute cards made with this set with the raspberries and the strawberries and the blueberries and my family is like obsessed with berries. We just love berries. Um, we have a raspberry bush in our backyard um, that I brought home two years ago. Just a little baby plant and it is now this giant like five foot across plant. Um, and my boys and I like to stand outside every summer evening after dinner and just pick raspberries. Sun warmed raspberries, you know, and um, eat them. So um, I just thought this set would be perfect for... Um, you know, it, it just brings back memories, you know, fun memories with my kids. So, um, I really wanted to get this set. Um, it is called Fresh Picked, I believe. Oh, there, Fresh Picked, yep. And like I said, it has two raspberries, two strawberries, two blueberries, um, a frame, a couple leaves, some tops, and a really cute sentiments. Fresh pick birthday wishes just for you. You are the sweetest, sweet of you. Thanks for being so sweet. Sweet birthday wishes. Sending sweet wishes your way on this very special day. There's no berry quite as sweet as you. Berry best wishes and thanks so very much. Um, so I went ahead and picked up that. And then I went and picked up um, this one as well. This is called the Heartfelt Mix. And I'm not really a heart person, so I was kind of hesitant about this one. But I love um, this line here. Um, I thought it would be really cute to do like a laundry line or um, put some little birds on there. I actually have another W plus 9 set that I won a long time ago on like a blog giveaway um, that has the little tiny birds, um, which I thought would be cute on that. And the clouds are kind of really cool. They're like a textured... Um, cloud and the sentiments are great too and I love these little uh, clothes pins you could put all kinds of things on there with the clothes pins but the sentiments say hang in there sometimes all you need is a fresh start hey there I'm so sorry can't we start over I thought of you and smiled congratulations to the happy couple on your new edition I love you I'm here for you um, I really love that sometimes all you need is a fresh start that's so cute um, so anyway, I picked up those, and then I also picked up the coordinating dies for the Fresh Pick set. Um, that's the frame, and then those are the berries, and the, the larger berries and the leaves. So, I got those. And then, um, I went ahead and ordered the Simon Says Stamp card kit. I have been looking at it. Um, since they brought it out and it's just so adorable and when you really price the items out it's really a good value for the money. Um, it's $19.99 and the shipping is about five dollars um, maybe five dollars and some change um, but uh, there's a ton of product in there and um, I actually started with the July kit even though it's already August. I didn't actually care so much for the August kit. It was really bright colors and just wasn't my style. So you can opt out of any months that you wanted. So I started with July, um, opted out of August, and September is on the way to me. I'm not going to show you the kit because it's already, you know, we're well into August. And like I said, September is probably on its way to me right now. Um, so the July kit is pretty old and you've probably all seen it. <laughs> If you have it and you want a video on it, let me know and I'll absolutely show it to you, although I have used some of it already. Um, but I can definitely show you the September kit when that arrives. Um, if you order other items um, with your kit, you do have to pay separate shipping right now, but with the first kit, you don't. Um, so I could get free shipping on basically any other items that I decided to add to my cart. So I went ahead and did that because I had been eyeing this Dynamics die for a long time. <laughs> I'm one of those people who I, I hardly ever just buy things right away. I like, you know, <sighs> I don't have a ton of, you know, I don't have a huge craft budget. So I usually 
put it in my shopping cart or on my wish list and look at it for a long, long time. And then when I'm really, really positive that I still want it and I haven't forgotten about it and been like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's cool. Um, but if I, it stays on my mind the whole time, then I go ahead and buy it, you know, when I'm able to. So this Dynamics die um, is called the Mini Tabs Quartet. And I just, I thought these so, these tabs would be so cute to do like, um, I did one paper bag album and I'm wanting to do some more mini albums and things like that. Try that out. Um, so th I thought these would be really fun to like turn the pages, but also just layered on cards and stuff. You could stamp a sentiment and tuck it behind, you know, the focal image or whatever. I just thought they add a fun element. I, I just love tabs. I don't know why. I love tabs. I love office supplies and I love tabs. So anyway, I picked up those. I also picked up um, some more Studio Calico wood veneers. These are the cameras. I just thought they were super cute and I had wanted to buy them from Vanessa when I bought the butterflies but I just, I don't know, I wanted the butterflies at that time. Um, but so, like I said, since I was getting the free shipping basically with this kit, I just went ahead and threw them in. This was like the last thing I threw in. Um, anyway, I thought those would be cute. And then um, I picked up this Miss Caroline paper pack. Um, I can open it for you. It's a little bit of an older one. I think they've got a bunch of new ones now. Um, by the way, this is how I open my 6x6 six six pads so that you don't have the sticky on the paper. I just run my craft knife over the top and the back and then just peel it off. And then there's no mess. So anyway, it's open. But anyway, there's some really nice patterns in there. Really muted colors, which is very me. I love grays. I love purples. I love blues. And I love yellows. And that's basically what this whole pack is. Um, so yeah, I picked up that. I also picked up some more of the mistables. These are um, the clouds and sunshines. I'm not sure if there's a name on it. I don't see a name. But anyway, I saw Drew from Card of My Eye on YouTube using these with this Glimmer Mist. It's the Patina Glimmer Mist. And I've never used Glimmer Mist before, so that's new. Um, but it was such a pretty effect, so I thought I would try those out as well. It has the clouds, raindrops, and the suns. Um, so there. And then last in my cart, I just threw in these 3D foam tapes by Best Creations. Um, I've seen a lot of people who do the Simon Says Stamp video talk about how inexpensive these are. Um, and they are inexpensive. I think they're like less than $2 a sheet. So I thought I'd try those out. They're also much thinner than the, um, the dimensionals that I usually use. Like, I don't have the packaging, but these are the dimensionals I usually get from This to That by American Crafts. And look at that. They're like twice as thick as these. So I thought it would be nice to have like another level of dimension on the cards. So I thought I'd try those. For those of you that know, I work at AC Moore. I'm a floral designer there. Um, and we are redoing our um, stamp aisle. And we just got a lot more Tim Holtz product in. We used to carry just a little bit, but now we're starting to get a lot more and that's really exciting for me because I love Tim Holtz. Um, but anyway, we got the distress markers in and you can buy them singly. They're $2.99. Um, and they were on sale 30% off um, last week. And then with my employee discount, they ended up being $209 a piece. So I went ahead and picked up nine of them. Um, I got Barn Door, Fired Brick, Spun Sugar, um, Spice Marmalade, Wild Honey, Mustard Seed. Dusty Concord, Faded Jeans, and Broken China. Um, we don't have all of them. I think we have about, mm, I'm going to say 20. Um, so I'm hoping to pick up the rest of those, um, you know, in the near future. But for now, that was a good start for me. So anyway, I'm excited to try those out. Okay, and then... Um, these three stamps I picked up at um, my local um, scrapbooking store, Monkey Business, was having a craft sale, um, like a garage sale, but it, um, for crafters. And um, that was like last month, but I decided to run up there 
um, and check it out. Last year I actually participated and sold things, but this year um, I just didn't get in on it in time. So anyway, um, well, first I picked up this. This was on sale for six dollars. Um, this is by Paper Smooches. This is a little lovin'. Um, I have been looking at this set for a long, long time because I love, 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 love this little elephant stamp. It's so sweet. Um, but I'm just not crazy about the other images. Like, I don't know that I would ever use this bunny. Um, the kangaroo, maybe. Probably not the frog. Um, you know, they're adorable, but they're not, they're just not me. Um, so, you know, whatever. They've got a please a lot of people so you know not everybody's gonna love every set but anyway I do love this elephant image but at $14.99 I just couldn't spend the money for one image um I don't know I guess I'm just <sighs> I don't know I I it has to be reasonable for me so to use one image for $14.99 that that just wasn't gonna happen for me um but they had it on sale for six dollars so I was like okay for six dollars you know that's doable so I went ahead and picked that up um, and then I got this little um, my favorite things this is the pure innocence line um, I have a couple of others of these stamps but this one with the little camera <laughs> I thought she was so cute um, and I love photography uh, I'm not like a professional by any means but it's something that I have loved since I was a little girl and I always thought if I had the time you know, I would learn more about it. It's like one of my top five, you know, hobbies or professions or whatever. You know, if I were to have a midlife crisis or whatever, maybe I would get more into photography. But anyway, um, I'm an amateur photographer and, you know, that's good enough for me for now. But anyway, I just thought the camp was, the stamp was really cute. So anyway, it says, you're my little shutter bug. Have a picture perfect day. There is always a reason to smile. Don't forget to smile, and you're so cute. So, I picked up that. That was $9.95. Um, but she had like a like a 25 a 20 20 percent off coupon for that day if you shopped in the store. So it was actually 20 percent off. And then I also picked up this um, stamping Bella stamp. I had never seen this stamp before, but oh my gosh, when I saw her, I just fell in love. She is so cute, and I just love her curly hair. I have curly hair, so. Um, you know, I just thought she was adorable with her little ribbons flowing. And it says, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss it, you will land among the, among the stars. Um, which is just adorable. And this is unmounted rubber, by the way. If you have never bought from Stampy Bella before. This is what it looks like. It's just like plain rubber. And the sentiment is in there as well. So that's what it looks like. So you have to mount this on like easy mount or something. But I have some. So that's fine. Um, I can do that. And her name is Mabel is reaching for the stars. So if anybody's interested in finding that. That's what she's called. And um, okay last but not least. Um, yesterday I just ran into TJ Maxx. I know a lot of my crafty friends like Vanessa Mid Middleton and... Um, other people who do YouTube videos have been saying they've been finding a lot of um, storage solutions on at, at TJ Maxx lately. And since I'm, you know, trying to, I mean, I keep my office pretty clean anyway because I'm like an organizational freak. Um, but I thought, you know, with a dog, maybe I need to move things higher up because I have a lot of stuff on the floor you know and like bins and baskets and things like that um, but anyway so I went in there looking for storage solutions but my TJ Maxx didn't really have anything that I wanted but anyway I found this adorable mug oh my gosh when I saw it I was like oh my gosh that is so cute and usually I see stuff like this and I'm like yeah but you don't need it you have other mugs you don't need it but I don't know. Something about this one I was like, no, I can't put it back on the shelf. So I just carried it through the entire store with me and got through the checking line and I was still thinking, should I put it back? Should I put it back? But seriously, it was $3.99. I'm like, are you kidding me? You're going to fuss over $3.99 when, you know, it makes you happy. And look, it, it even has like owls all along the inside. It'll be so fun to drink my 
tea in in the uh, colder months. So anyway, I decided to buy it. So that's my little mug. So anyway, that's my haul video. Um, I hope you found something in it that, um, you know, you enjoyed, thought was cute, whatever. And uh, I hope you'll look forward to seeing me use some of these products. So thanks so much for watching and have a fantastic day.